Hey guys, it's Lewis here from NDXAxing.com and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how an EMG is conducted. The most important thing that you need to know is what's in, what's in EMG, right? When they ask you that question, it's a nerve and muscle examination. Now the nerve examination is done by using electrical impulses. Don't forget, electrical impulses on the extremities, arms and legs. Now the technician or doctor doing the test, he will use a stimulator he will stimulate various points in the extremities, on the arms or legs, and he's going to uh, uh, collect and record the electrical activity of your nerve potentials. That's all he's going to do. And the uh, second part of that is the EMG, which is the muscle examination. The muscle examination, do not, they do not use any electrical impulses. They use a needle electrode. This electro penetrates the muscle and records the electrical activity of that muscle. So in essence, you, they're going to use electrical impulses and a needle electrode. So what we're going to do now is what we're going to demonstrate on myself how the electrical examination is performed, how, and how in that particular part, if it's done accordingly, you have nothing to worry about. Now, what the problem is is sometimes when it comes to electrical impulses, the technologist or the doctor uses too much intensity that could be a little painful. Let me, let me demonstrate a little bit. So when you go for the electrical examination, right, I'm going to stimulate myself really quick. And I'm going to show you how I respond to the electrical impulse. So let me lower down the intensity a little bit. Okay, so now I'm stimulating here at the level of the elbow. Okay, I want you to see a, this motor reflex. Now I'm beginning to feel it a little bit. You see that? Look at my hand on top. How it's moving all by itself. Now I don't, it feels like I'm just kind of tapping myself, but the thing is, is that when you do the nervic studies, right, you need to have the technician or doctor needs to have pinpoint precision over where they're going to stimulate. Right? And they should only use the electrical impulses that your body structure needs according to your height, according to your weight that you need for the nerves to depolarize, for the nerves to react. Now, in my situation, I'm 175, I'm, um, I'm pretty uh, healthy. I don't need much stim to get myself going. You see that? Look at that. I'm gonna do here on my, uh, let me put some gel. Gel is important because then it, it helps the electrical impulses conduct. All right, I'm gonna hit my wrist, look at my, look at my thumb. See that move? See that? Look. Right? Now the problem is, is that there's some individuals don't stimulate exactly what they're supposed to. Now, you see I'm here at the level of the wrist. You see that? Let me see, show you guys. Right next to the, to the lines of the wrist, right? I don't need much intensity. This is the median nerve I'm testing right in the middle. Older nerve. I don't look at that, I don't need much intensity. But as I go a little bit more proximal, away from the lines of the wrist, right? Then sometimes, look, see, look at, the, look at the response, I'm not moving. I come a little closer, see that? I'm away, there's some technicians sometimes stimulate away. Now, I'm gonna need more intensity in order to respond. See that? But that started to bother me a little bit. You see that? So in one way, I have pinpoint precision where I'm going to stimulate, I respond, I don't need much intensity, I'm lowering down the intensity. In another way, I'm away from, I don't have pinpoint precision where I'm going to stimulate, I need more, I need a little bit more juice. So what I'm trying to tell you, if the technologist has good communication, okay, or the doctor, and he uses the electrical stimulator precisely, and he stimulates where he's supposed to, you're not going to have uh, a problem. Now, how you stay in control of this is, is that when you're going to have an EMG test and you're gonna have the nerve examination first and they start, they start using the electrical impulses, that, te that technician or doctor should, use, should start with the intensity at zero. Now, when I do my test, I explain to my patients don't, not to worry. You're not going to feel anything. I'm gonna start with the intensity at zero and all I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the exact the amount of intensity that you need for the nerves to react, so not to worry. Now, it's normal, it's, it's important that you feel and that you respond, because if I stimulate, and sometimes that happens, you know, not often, but it happens. You stimulate, you use electrical impulses on someone, and they don't respond, that's signs of a serious disease, so you have to feel and you have to respond, but it should feel natural. It should not be painful. Now, one thing that I do, right, it's, I don't know if you're going to remember this, but it's just maybe part of patient education. 
when we do nerve studies, right, we do motor and sensory studies. Motor studies take a little bit of more intensity. So when I start, uh, in sensories, you need very little intensity. You need less intensity to get those nerve potentials going. So what I do when I start with the right side, on uh, either upper, on the arms or legs, right, I start with the sensory studies. They, they, they need the least amount of intensity just to uh, build uh, uh, a nice communication process you know I want that patient to be able to uh, trust me but I try to have good communication and put the patient at ease because there are some patients who are electrically sensitive but no matter what the situation is it's important for the patient to uh, feel comfortable and have a, a VIP experience at the end of the day even if they don't like it they're going to admit, you know what, it wasn't painful. I just didn't really like the way the electrical impulses, I really didn't like the uh, needle electrodes. Let's face it, not everyone's going to like this test. Our job is to be able to communicate it and to, to be able to do it as best as possible and have the patient have a, a, a good experience when it comes to this test. That's, that's the best thing that we can do. If you go somewhere and they tell you it's painful, that's not the, the, the process, remember. So we use needle electrodes and electrical impulses. Needle electrodes, electrical impulses, it doesn't necessarily hurt. It's the, the, the individuals, the doctors that are inducing this test, they don't use the instruments uh, uh, properly, other ones that are causing the pain. So let me just show you a little bit on the needle electrode so you can see. The, uh, I got the needle electrode. I took it out of the packet. So usually you go and you're gonna have a nice brand new needle. Not, it's not reusable. They take it out of the packet and you, uh, you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna, so you know, usually they, a little alcohol swab just to kind of clean the skin a little bit, okay? Now, needle electrodes, right? If you, again, your doctor, the neurologist, physiatrist, orthopedic, and they have good hands and, and they have a good explanation, you have nothing to, to worry about. It's when they come across that this is going to be painful, lean back, and, and, and it also depends on the muscles they test. Let me tell you something, the muscles that don't hurt on the upper extremities, right? The traps muscle, whether it's anterior or, or posterior, you see traps, trapezius muscle here, the shoulder muscles here, right? You know, back of the muscle, front of the muscle, you'd be fine. It's not going to hurt, okay? Now, also the deltoid, okay? This big muscle here at the, at the lower part of the shoulder, right? That doesn't hurt either. The triceps, that doesn't hurt either. Uh, some uh, muscles here in the forearm, that doesn't hurt either. The bicep, if you don't position the bicep properly, it might sting a little bit, but usually the way the needle electro feels, right, if you had acupuncture, if you can pinch yourself as hard as you can, that's basically what it's going to feel like. Now, I used the electrical impulses before, now we're going to use the needle electro. I'm gonna do my tricep here, soften up the muscle, okay? Hold on a second, let me use it, right? And then, in. I didn't feel anything, you see that, look. You see that? I didn't feel anything at all. Now what that's going to do is going to record the electrical activity of that muscle. Nothing to, uh, nothing to worry about. What, what's painful is, is that when the doctor, right, they start, they stab you. See how quick I went? In and out. They'll, they stab you. Well, they don't position the muscle properly. If you're gonna do the bicep, right? You can't tell the patient make a bicep because then it hardens the muscle and then the needle is going to sting. You have to soften up that muscle, okay? This tightens the muscle, this softens the muscle, right? Now, muscles that hurt and muscles that I, I wouldn't let, no one stick a needle into this muscle. APB muscle here. When a, pa when a doctor sticks the needle in there, that hurts. You have to be really, really good. I've done it to myself a couple of times, but I don't like it. But guess what? It's not necessary. Because when they stick a needle into this muscle, usually they're trying to diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome. And the carpal tunnel syndrome, the test of choice is the electrical examination. Once you do this and you pick up carpal tunnel, it's done. They don't need to stick a needle in there. Some do. Okay, so if it's done according to the electrical impulses and the needle electro, you saw I just, I just stimulated myself. I stimulated myself and I put a needle in my tricep muscle. Okay, I'm not, there's no reason to do it all over because it's going to be, it's going to be uh, the, uh, the, uh, the same. The, sen the neck could be a little sensitive, but it's very, very doable. And your lower back could be a little sensitive, but it's doable. I've, you know, but usually my thing is that out of every 1,000 patients I see, 
maybe one could be electrically sensitive. And obviously, if you have a pacemaker on, if you suffer from seizures, then we can't do the electrical uh, impulses because it can disrupt a certain components. Some people don't like needles. They have fear of needles. You know what? So if you have fear of needles, then we just, uh, we just don't do it. You know, and some patients don't like the electrical impulses. There's ways you can modify the protocol. Uh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things that you can do to be able to um, have the patient have a good experience. Sometimes, you know, we have patients, they come in nervous, they hear bad things about it. I say, don't worry about it. Let's just sit down and talk. Let me communicate what we're going to do. Let me show you what we're going to do. And then some, you can come back some other time. So the most important thing of this video is I'm trying to educate you. I'm trying to show you, you know what, it, it, it's okay. If you go to the right place, you got nothing to worry about. The electrical impulses and needle electrodes are not a, a, not a huge factor. Who's doing them? Who's conducting the test? That's the factor. That's the person that's inducing pain, not the electrical impulses. Look, I have to do this on my face. Let me show you. Look how I stimulate here. Look, look the way I respond here, right? Look the way I respond here, look. Boom, boom, my face. Feel it, see that? See that? So I feel the electrical impulses, but it's fine. Now, if I, if I go really, really high again, let me show you something. See, that's starting to hurt, you know? Uh, let me show you one last thing too. Median nerve here at the level of the wrist, it's okay. I have a little too high, let me lower it down. Median nerve here at the brachial artery at the upper of the elbow, it, it might sting a little bit. You see that? That's a little, it could be a little sensitive for that area. So what I try to do sometimes, if the patient's really, really electrically sensitive, then I keep things distal, meaning at the wrist. And sometimes the older nerve, I can go uh, below the elbow because the, el the older nerve below the elbow is very superficial, it's right there. It doesn't need much intensity. The median nerve at the level of the brachial artery here, it's deep, so you have to use a little bit more intensity. There's some patients who are really, really, really electrically sensitive that I modify things. Anyway, guys, I hope this has been helpful. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. You can comment below. If you have any questions, please do. Uh, again, my name is Lewis from NDXacting.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.